Shakram Gyosov versus Patricio Lopez Moreno. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? As you guys can see, they recently had the weigh-ins. Both fighters made weight, weighing in below the 140-pound weight limit, with Gyoso weighing in at 139.5 pounds and Moreno weighing in at 139.3 pounds. If you guys don't know, they'll be fighting over in Uzbekistan in the undercard of this event. Akhmadalia versus Iwasa. It's an event you don't want to miss. It's an event taking place in, over in Uzbekistan in front of 10,000 fans live in person at the arena in an event that includes multiple rising stars, rising names, professional boxers from Uzbekistan. If you guys don't know, there's been a rise of Uzbek boxers lately. Um, you know, you, you got to keep an eye of a lot of these Uzbek boxers. And one of them is Gyosev. Gyosov. I'm still learning the names. Gyosov. I'm going to be completely honest. I've never seen him before. I just recently watched some footage of Gyosov as well as Moreno. Uh, and to those... Oh, by the way. It, the fight, the event will be shown live on The Zone. Fight will be at 10 a.m. Or event, I should say. Event will be at 10 a.m. in the morning on Saturday, April 3. Keep that in mind. 10 a.m. Yes, in the morning. 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So keep that in mind. I'll be watching... Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching all these fat boxers fighting this card. And to those who doesn't know who Gyosov is, he's a 27-year-old uh, fighter from Uzbekistan with a record of 10-0. and 0, 8 wins coming by way of Naka or TKO. He's fought in multiple countries before here in the States, uh, in, in the UK, in Mexico. And now for the first time as a professional boxer in his 11th pro fight, he'll be fighting in front of his fellow countrymen over in Uzbekistan against Moreno. Moreno is a 26 year old fighter from mexico 28 and 4 20 wins come by way of nakar tko is currently in a two fight winning streak last time he lost was against dennis Perinchik back in 2019 and uh looking at his resume he looks like he's only lost to good boxers to good fighters like uh jukembayev uh to uh marvel sagrasian to dante jardone Looks like he's, if you look at his resume, it looks like, I mean, the resume of these fighters, it looks like he lost to guys who have decent records. And now here he is fighting the undefeated Kiasov. And from what I've seen of Moreno, he's tall, lengthy. I mean, as you guys can see in the weigh-in, he, he uh, has a, like, f what, three, four inches over Kiasov. And from what I've seen of Moreno, he seems more of a boxer who fights from the outside using his height and reach. And, uh, you know, I could see that giving Gyasov some problems early on. But in the end, I think Gyasov, man, he's, he's pretty talented, man. I'm, I was really impressed with what I've seen of him. And uh, based on that, his impressiveness, <laughs> yeah, I'm going for Gyasov. Plus, he's right in front of his hometown, his, his uh, home country. So he doesn't want to disappoint people in front of his 10,000 fans. So uh, I'm going for Gyasov, pulling off the win. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I think Moreno's height and reach might give him some problems, but I think uh, Gyasa will adjust with that and use his boxing IQ to be able to get in the inside, work the inside, cut off the ring, and break down Moreno and win this fight by TKO and knockout or unanimous decision. Um, if it's TKO and knockout, I think it will be in the later rounds. Um, I believe it's scheduled for 10. Yeah, it's scheduled for 10. So either 8 rounds or 2, 7 rounds or 3 if it's by unanimous decision, or TKO in round 7, 8, 9, 10, around there. So, um, yeah, I look forward to a great night of boxing, man. Or, I should say, great morning of boxing. Again, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.